limitless learning. Unlock your potential with limitless learning anytime, anywhere. In our today's episode, we'll be looking at data science and how I'm using ChatGPT to learn data science. One of the things that has helped me to learn the interdisciplinary field of data science is the ChatGPT. And I've appreciated how AI machine learning models are helping me learn very fast and shiftly in this tech era. In this particular episode, we'll look at how you can empower yourself by learning data science using ChatGPT. First, you will have to open your ChatGPT and for your information you can just log through the browser and sign in. Uh, you can just say chat already logged in and then that's why it's already bring me to this screen but otherwise this is what happens when you log in. Then here you could send uh, people may ask me what's the difference between the trial version okay the free version and the upgraded plus version pretty much uh, I have used mainly the, the the open version which is similar to the the upgraded or the paid version now what you do you just say data science now once you type data science uh, within a short period of time uh, it, it will generate text chat GPT is mainly used to generate text however you could not uh, rely on to it 100 per percent because uh, you should know what you're looking for and how you use the information now you can see within a short period here I've been able to generate some basic text overview on on data science now but I want to take you into this learning that uh, uh, the things that you need to consider while learning uh, chat GPT is that data science uh, is a field that deals basically with uh, scientific method processes and using some of the algorithms which are there and to my understanding is that the demand for professional skills in data analytics and machine learning is exploding and when you look at the demand for data science uh, the, the, you know the demand for data science is increasing and jobs are being created in the field of data science that brings the overall globalizations of the industry and it helps in complex challenges with data and important decision making processes so the main basics of data analytics skills is to help you create a break field and seeking a career opportunities now what you could ask yourself in chat gpt what are the career career uh, opportunities in data science so when you generate that text um, let's wait I, I don't know maybe I would have to okay it's just here career opportunities in data science this is what I see literally whenever I generate some of this text and data science is rapidly growing field with high demand for professional skill and here are some of the fields that you would look at it in general you would look at uh, uh, the skills of being a data scientist and your responsibility is basically extracting insights from data and creating some predictive modules and another thing that you can look at is the data analyst and then data engineer machine learning engineer uh, business intelligent analyst bi analyst uh, big data engineer de data visualization specialist this with uh, representations of graphical like the use of tableau power bi and sometimes you may not need to know the actual coding but uh, chat gpt can help you even generate some some basic scripts uh, if you if you ask chat gpt to write for you uh, uh, write a simple python script for 
Jupyter Notebook. Okay, I think it's spelling of Jupyter. Okay, just run the search. So you could see here clearly that uh, when you want to, uh, here are some simple Python script that you can run in a Jupyter notebook. So you can see here you, it has generated a comment which is begins with the hash symbol, and this is basically to highlight it into a readable form and doesn't run. I explained that and it created some variables for input. What is your name? Uh, and since basically ChatGPT generates for you this script, you could even try out whether this script can run in, 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 in the real uh, actual uh, dev development environment. So you can see you just need to open Jupyter Notebook on the browser, blah, and then you should be able to follow this, some of these steps here. But let me show you how this could actually work. Let me just start my code. I'm just going to put my code editor here. I use Visual Studio and this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go hit straight to create a new uh, folder and I can open a folder. Sometimes you might not see the response but this is the response because if the screen is maximized so you go to desktop and then you could create a folder here and say learn uh, python learn python then you create that folder then you open it now once you open your folder in uh, visual studio code editor then you can create a new file you can create a file from here this way and here so i would love to use here click on that and what's going to be the file name let's say app dot uh, I, I -Y -N -B. so that is an extension for a jupyter notebook file so once i click on it and it saves it should be able to uh, run the script for me now remember uh, it has already generated for me some sample code that I can use and I'll just copy this code and click on copy and then I go back to my Visual Studio and then I just paste this code here. Now once I paste this code you could see this is now a comment in Python and when I run this code uh, in a Python uh, environment which Python version am I using I'm using the high, the latest version of Python I pick that and then I say install now it's installing for me uh, the kernel for Jupyter Notebook so that I'm able to run my Python script and this is one of the good thing while working with uh, working with uh, Visual Studio uh, Code Editor. Now in a few, we would be able to see that uh, our code is executing normally. Now that the uh, installations are almost getting done and the script is here running, then we'll be able to have a simple script in Python. Let's give it a few seconds for it to get done because it's compiling some few uh, code. Then after generating, then it should be able to run normally. Just in case you have some errors, but I, this is a, a valid syntax, so it should be able to work for us normally. Okay, uh, as that script is running, mm, please, what is your name? Now, this is the command which is asking. My name is Jeff, uh, Joff. Then I need to just press enter. So you can see the results here. What is your name? My name is Jeff, Joff. So I can add and then repeat that line of code. Then I run it. Now this time round it's asking, what is your name? Then you say, Jeff, Joff. Then you press enter. The results is displayed here. And that is how I basically use, uh, I literally use 
ChatGPT to help me generate some script. And, and it makes it much easier when I'm training a data science course to my software engineering class for those ones who are attending. And this becomes much easier for anyone who would love to learn uh, ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is really, really powerful. And that's how me, I appreciate uh, ChatGPT. Then there are things that I also realized that I, I really also need to tell you is that when you learn some of these uh, foundations to data science, you should know that as a data scientist, or you become a data analyst, and then you work in a professional field to extract an insight of a data and help in data you help in data driven decision making processes and and that's one of the beauty of understanding some of these concepts or using chat gpt now one of the things i've also realized is that uh, with chat gpt it makes it much easier for you even to initiate any idea like how do you install the python libraries you can ask all these questions in chat gpt and chat gpt will give you the results let's say that i want to use a simple script to import a csv file uh, just say simple sample code for for importing csv file in jupyter Jupyter notebook. Now, when I run this, now you can see it even helps and explain to you what each statement means. What does the head statement means, and what does the word CSV means? Now you can see here. Here are sample code for importing a CSV file in Jupyter notebook using pandas library so you have to import pandas as pd and then to read the csv file just need to have the file name but remember to put it in quotes and then to print the first head of the row you just run this command so let's look at this in in a live session i'm going to um let me open my script here and in this same script just going to add a code block a cell where you write all your script or your code in that line now here i need to go back to the folder which is on the desktop and i need to put first i need to put the file i need to put a csv file in that directory now because i have learned Python. I've already added some CSV file there. You could see I've put it the this the file. Now I'm just going to go and copy the other script. The script here and it will import for me the pandas library. Sometimes if you don't know what pandas mean, I'll, I'll be able to show it to you how ChatGPT can help you understand what pandas really means. So I paste this script here. But of course, you would start getting errors. Pandas could not be resolved. And I'm going to show you how I can fix this. You need to have that simple uh, basic understanding. But let me first get back and show you uh, what, 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 what is Pandas. What is Pandas? It's a library. What is Pandas? Now, here, what is Pandas? Pandas is a popular open source data analysis library for python that's why i said earlier on it's a library so this library it's used for generating time series matrices and pandas is a built-in top for numpy a popular numerical library for python so you can read all this information here and then pandas is widely used in data science machine learning finance and other field where data analysis and manipulations are required it's easy to use interface and powerful capabilities making it an essential tool for working with data in Python. That is one of the beauty of using ChatGPT. So let's see if we can see around the other script which we picked from. Now our our CSV file here is DS 
underscore salary. That means we have to change this file name. We have to change this file name to uh, ds underscore salaries. Now, we already have a uh, data frame which is the variable for this data set and we, we, we're now going to resolve this issue of pandas which is not executed. First, I'm going to create another cell and then you might want this to be above. Then you could just click on this. This is what I can do. I can first uh, copy this other script. Okay, I'll just So if you have a challenge here, you try to run this and tells you, you, you get this error. Uh, imp import, the line of the error is here. Import pandas as PD. It's it, the no model name pandas. How do you resolve this error? Just you can even go and write it in ChatGPT. And ChatGPT will give you a solution. But let's not waste our time. We can just go to a terminal and then here, we can say import or uh, just use what you call pip install pandas now once the library for pandas is installed now you could come back here and and write import so import pandas as pd could not be resolved so pandas is already installed so let's run it okay we still having this error but we can fix it no module pandas and here the requirement is already satisfied Okay, sometimes you need to restart the canal. Restart. And then when you come back here and run, it's still showing uh, import pandas. No module name pandas. Okay. Let's copy this and Let's copy this and fix it. Okay, I can first save this, then open it again and run it. Okay, let me just create another script. Mm. Learn dot ipy nb. Okay. Now, the other script that we picked from ChatGPT. Let's first have only that part resolved. Then we can bring in the other script. Let's begin by importing that library. Okay, I can change my version here. Uh, so let's run into the Python, Python version 10 and see. Okay, so how I fix this problem? I've been running it on Python uh, version 3.11 and I was getting that error. But now here, 
I, when I change my my Python version, remember when I had this, I would still get that issue. Okay, I would get pandas not installed. So it's installing the library onto the Python version uh, three point. This is installing onto Python version three point ten. So if I change this to Python version uh, three point ten point six, and it runs normally. So that's how I should have figured out how to resolve that issue. That means here, well, we're also having the same error. We can solve that error by changing it here to the version 3.10. And when we go back to our last script here and run, it's execute normally. And in the last script here, we're able to see our codes works normally. But uh, this is how you troubleshoot and understand some of these problems, especially when you're dealing with uh, a Python script. So for this episode, I'll be able to stop here. In my next episode, I'll explain to you data science in details. I hope you've liked this tutorial, and I hope this is going to be your path to learn Python in data science. Please consider subscribing, give this video a like, and let's push it to 1K subscriber. Uh, thanks for attending and logging in.